the back panel. After all the din and trough is cut, each piece, along with anything that needs to be mounted to the back panel, is marked at the location. After each item is marked, everything is removed. All marked holes are drilled and tapped. Din, trough, and other components marked previously get put back onto the back panel and secured with screws. Any components that need to be installed onto the din rail are installed now. Everything's installed in its proper place. A device ID tag is placed beside each component for identification. This includes labeling each terminal block. The control panel. Each wire in the control panel has a number associated that corresponds to the drawing set. Each wire gets a number attached by a self-laminating label, printed at the beginning of the process. Groups of wire that run outside the trough get zip-tied together, keeping things neat. Power wiring started. This panel has three-phase power. Each circuit protector and contactor will need all three phases run to each of them. The power will be run from a power distribution block. The wire is sized based on the overcurrent amp rating of the circuit. The enclosure to work on. The door layout is printed on a large paper with one-to-one -one scale and gets adhered to the door at its proper position. Each hole gets a pilot hole drilled first, then is reamed to a size appropriate for the punch tool to fit through. Each hole is punched to its proper size. Other holes that do not need to be punched are drilled at this time. The paper is then removed from the door. Each component is installed onto the door and labeled with a device ID, then wired according to the drawings. Wire bundles are again neatly organized and zip-tied for cosmetic purposes. This panel requires an external circuit breaker handle so the circuit breaker is not mounted until the hole is punched in the door. The circuit breaker is lined up with the hole in the door and marked. It is then drilled, tapped, and installed. The circuit breaker handle shaft is measured and cut the length before installing. After the circuit breaker assembly is mounted, the power wiring from the circuit breaker to the distribution block can be finished. After all components are installed and wiring is complete, labels are installed like serial tag, fuse identification, field wiring torque, and more.